Right, the next task. At first, the lady wanted, she's got these sockets on the skirting and she wanted them raised above the skirting. But the first one I did, I couldn't get it. I, I, it was, I had to take up, well, there was no carpet. I had to take up the floorboards, take off the skirting and to get the, to free the cable up to get it up there. And she doesn't really want that done in this room because I said, I may have to lift up the carpet. If I go there, and it's not installed. If I can't pull enough slack up, then I'm going to have to lift up the carpet, take up the floorboards and get some. She doesn't want that done. So she just wants me to change that to a, a double, which I'm going to do now. It's not even fixed properly, look. <laughs> Not even fitted properly. I've got to be careful with this as well because the lady's using the um, the Wi-Fi. You know what? I may have to take off that fuse board and disconnect the um, circuit because if I make a little slip if the earth touch neutral or earth touch live even though it's dead it's going to trip and it's a split board and then she's going to lose her wi-fi look oh all right okay this one's good look oh look at that that if i'll be able to get enough to get it up though oh my days look this is a good one oh well, i can get it back in <laughs> They have left the, la the other one, it was really short. Used to do this a lot of this when I was on the council. Because in Islington, you've got a lot of these houses with these big old Victorian places. This was probably a council flat one time, it's a big place. Screw stuff in properly, man. If you can't be good. Okay, yeah, that one had a lot of slack on it. Probably not long enough to go up, but then you'd have to trouble drilling down. Probably not worth it. But she doesn't want to mess. So. DIY <laughs> blue blue cable around the um, earth blue tape around the earth probably not a DIY it could be a council where I've done this but it's only on the council where you, you put um, an housing association where you use put surface sockets most private people wouldn't do that all right, so I'd better get something to tape this up because I don't want to. Um... Right. So. Oh, man.
should never really twist cables together like that. It's not good. Always keep them separate. Sometimes when I'm doing a connection and I find it it's awkward depending on the type of socket or the position when you um you put your sleeving on sometimes when you're trying to push it in the sleeving creeps up so you don't bite the thing when I'm having difficulty like that I twist the ends together just to make sure I make good connection I, I really do it but there are cases where it just it's just I can just get over things quicker if I do that make sure that it's the earth is going is connected properly um, but never twist it together like that all the way up because there's times like when you're doing training there if you push it up the sleeving comes up you think you've connected it but you haven't that's why I always pull it tug it Connect it, then I pull it to make sure that it's connected properly. Right. I haven't, I haven't bothered to mess with the fuse board. I don't want to take the cover off and disconnect all the aggravation. So what I'm going to have to do is tape this up. Because it's quite easy to arm um, for neutral to touch earth or live or whatever. Quite easy. You think you're being careful, but it just happens. And she's making video calls and all them sort of things. That's the trouble with this lockdown things. People get you into their house to do work while they're working, you know. Can cause a few problems. Because what I find is that obviously you have to ask them certain questions or while, as you're doing the work. Sometimes they're on the phone, you have to wait and all them sort of things. It's a bit really but just have to get on with it best you can but the most important thing is keeping their Wi-Fi on so they can do their work <laughs>
my little screws, man. I brought some screws up all my days. Mm. I picked them up, but I picked them out, but I didn't bring them up. Just gotta go and get my screws. Okay, I've got my screws. Oh man. <laughs> I should have just booked up my pouch because now I got the screws. Forgot my level. <laughs> got to make sure it's level. <laughs> oh boy. be okay if I but what I oh you know what what I should do I should drill the hole lower ha huh, so I can get this higher yeah yeah because yeah I should drill the hole down there so I can bring this up a bit higher yeah 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 I do that So I made the little hole a little bit lower as possible so I can get the socket as high as possible. Yeah? That's all good. God. Oh my days. Oh, I had it before. The um, cables were a bit trapped. Don't want that, do you? So I couldn't straight up, straighten it up properly because of...
give it a little pull, make sure it's in, that's it. Beautiful. Beautiful. I think with these strippers, I was going on about them at first, but they're all right. They strip it well, but you've got to be really, really precise. You've got to get it. If those other ones are working like they were started, it'd be good. It'd be good. But you have to make sure you get it in the right size thing. It's a bit, a bit of a pain, to be honest. And if you get it in the wrong one, it cuts the cable. <laughs> so they're all right. Not as enthused as I was. That's why I did, because like I said, I've seen these from years ago, from the 70s. I never got one. It's great when you do this sort of thing, right? When, when you do this sort of thing, some of the clients, they're so happy. I mean, you've just done a simple little thing, change a single to a double. Oh, that's really nice, oh great. They think you've bloody parted the Red Sea or something. It's really good. When, <laughs> makes me laugh, man. You know. They think you've done something really brilliant. <laughs> oh, it's quite funny. Uh, nice, it's nice. <laughs> oh boy. Shh, 
so just 